Hello, my beautiful rock stars. It's your girl, Rocky, your revolutionary hippie from Life is Rocky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so I guess it's another one of my Becoming a Feminine Woman series, but it could also be a part of That's Mrs. Smart to you. Um, but yeah, today I wanted to talk about uh, gender roles in marriage or relationships. Um, so if you haven't been following my Becoming a Feminine Woman series, while I've had a journey of embracing my feminine energy, it's also understanding that I wish to be a balanced woman, not a feminine woman, a balanced woman. A balanced woman as a balanced person is able to access the duality of energies that exist within us. Think yin and yang, okay? Feminine and masculine energy has nothing to do with man or woman, um, has nothing to do with masculinity or femininity in the ways that we think about it. It's energy, okay? It's it's giving, it's um, receiving, it's sun and the moon, winter, summer, like it's it's exists outside of humanity, okay? So that being said, we all have these energies internally, no matter what gender identity we have. And then also, um, we have a dominant leaning usually. So internally, I have more of a masculine dominant ener energy. Uh, but again, I try to be balanced because both of those energy are necessary, beneficial. And yeah, they're, they're both needed. So there's that part. But then, um, so internally, I have a mass dom leaning. Externally, I present more femme, uh, but I try to be balanced. So let's break down gender roles in marriage or relationships. Um, so first, uh, we have to highlight that we are in a patriarchal society. In that patriarchal society, superiority is a concept that has been ingrained where the man is superior to the woman, the mind is superior to the body. Um, anything else? But just more along, humans are superior to animals. Just, it's, it's a lot of superiority hierarchical complex. Um, when that's not the way the world works, <laughs> everything is necessary and we all are in an ecosystem within it itself. So, it's understanding the balance of the universe, you know? Um, but that's why the world is out of balance. So anyways, um, when it comes to the roles that are determined in marriage, that's something that has should have nothing to do with other people's relationships. Just because your mama did this and your daddy did that does not mean that needs to be the same rules and blueprint and structure of every other relationship, okay? How they should be determined, the roles, uh, should be based on individual strengths. And individual strengths are going to be different from each individual and therefore each relationship is going to be different, okay? Um, some person is stronger at cleaning. Some person is stronger at cooking. Some person is stronger with the childcare. Some person is stronger with working. Maybe you're both good at working. You know, like it's it's understanding the individual strengths and determining the roles thereforth of what the marriage and relationship is going to look like your <laughs> genitalia <laughs> gender identity gender expression all have no determinants on the actual roles within like tell me what my chromosome and hormones have to do with cooking do we all need to eat? <laughs> tell, tell, tell me about it, okay? Um, and it's not like something can't be changed as well. So my husband was a vegetarian all his life, whereas I, um, I identify as a flexitarian, first off. But I embraced a vegetarian diet um, like my mid-20s. And so it took me some time to just learn how to cook differently and use different ingredients and, and different ways of cooking and things like that. So he was a better cook when we first began our relationship. But uh, when I took time off of practicing therapy, that's when I was doing breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I was putting in these reps. I was also using HelloFresh. So I was getting new um, 
uh, recipes and new ingredients. And then I was just trying new different things with my daughter, with baby led weaning. So I put in the reps to become the better cook in the house. And now I'm holding that title. But it had nothing to do with <laughs> my genitalia, okay? <laughs> or my gender identity. It, it had to do with me putting in the work. Um, and then as far as uh, children, I have a lot more experience than my husband does. So my mom and my sister had in-home daycares uh, starting from middle school through high school for me. And then um, I started practicing therapy, specializing in children, using play therapy. Um, so I have a lot more background around children um, than my husband did. So that would lead, and plus I did a hell of a lot more research while I was pregnant and pre-pregnancy as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's about your individual strengths, what you're naturally good at, what you're willing to work at, what you actually have experience with. Um, and then, yeah, how you're going to balance each other out with the things that are necessary within a household and within a relationship. Um, so let me know the breakdown in your household. And then also, you also got to consider like, I'm queer. So how does that work? Does it, and I am femme presenting and I'm attracted to femme women. So there's not a man in the relationship. I don't do femme stud relationships. So again, what are going to be the roles if it's not a heteronormative context, you know? So, so yeah, let me know in the comments below, what are the gender roles within your relationship? How were they decided? Did you just follow a blueprint that somebody else decided for you? Or did you intentionally choose what was going to be the roles within your relationship? <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Okay. Um, is anything else I want to say about this? I feel like this was a short video. There's not much to say. <laughs> Decide your own shit. Stop following stuff that wasn't, like, decided by you, you know? But anyways, <laughs> um, anything else I want to say about gender roles? Yeah, the roles in your marriage or relationship don't need a gender. Because who's good at what? Who has capacity for what? That's also something to consider. Who has the capacity for things? Because people don't put respect on, on what capacity um, people have. So, yeah. Well, sorry, a text came through and I got distracted. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm curious how you all determine the roles in your relationships and marriage. Um, yeah. Let me know because yes, I'm killing it at this at home childcare provider thing as well as uh, cleaning has fallen to the wayside ever since I had a daughter, but, um, but, uh, but cooking, I'm still knocking it out of the park, but I will say I'm still great professionally too. Um, I published my book. I uh, went back to work as a clinical supervisor. Um, I'm now supervising a practicum student, which means professional development training. Um, so I'm still, <laughs> you know, doing it professionally as well. So I, I have a lot of strengths um, and I have capacity for a lot. Cleaning, I don't. Let's hire out, outsource. <laughs> but um, I did more so before children, which I always said, I was like, I got the kids, I got cooking. We need cleaning, I need help with. I'm just stronger than my husband, but I was like, this ain't my strength, okay? Uh, I got, looking at a pile of laundry right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let me know how you all break it down. Do you have a village? Is that village outsourced and you have to pay? Do you have a nanny, daycare? Do you have a uh, meal prep or meal delivery? Do you have um, someone who comes and cleans? Or does grandma, grandpa live with you, aunt, uncle, cousin, whoever? Like, yeah, this whole nuclear family shit is for the birds. It takes more to run a household, y'all. And that ain't effective for nobody, okay? <laughs> So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Short video today, but uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Figure out what works and stop listening to other people who aren't in your relationship.
<laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> but uh, check out the rest of my Becoming a Feminine Woman series, as well as that's Mrs. Smart to you. Um, and then, you know, hop over to Mommy Fever as well, because I be, I be talking all the things. <laughs> but anyways, as always, take care of you. Light and love.